full peak of lively lady. lady. Yeah. And that's where we are, and and we got to the boat show um, after nine months of hard work. On the 16th of November last year, we took her into the Hayden Yacht Company Big Shed, where they've been very supportive and helpful with information and letting us use their tools, and power tools anyway, and well, the ones that need. Um, we stripped the boat right down, took it down to bare wood inside and out, cleaned all the bilges out, everything went out, and then we just started putting it back together. Um, unfortunately, some of the people that said they were going to come and work and do stuff for us didn't come, so we ended up doing it all ourselves. So it took us nine months rather than seven. So unfortunately, we missed some of the things we wanted to do, but we got here, we're nearly finished, and um, it's all been down to hard work and donations and the help of other people. Um, Did you have to repair anything? Was it, was it any woodworking? Um, like where the deck it leaks are bad, and after, after it was taken off, we found that there was a few soft spots in the frames, but it was from inside out. So we managed to cut the soft bits out and replace them with new wood and epoxy, and then clamp oak either side of the repairs, and then put, put it all back together. So it's probably stronger now than when it was built. And what, what did you use on deck? Did you use a ply? The deck is 20mm marine ply sub base, which is actually screwed and bonded to the, um, the main frames. And then on top of that, we've got um, the 15mm uh, Iroco, um, which is bonded directly onto that. So there's no fixings through that, so it makes it stay waterproof, which is good news for everybody that's ever been on the boat. And a bit stiffer. And a bit stiffer. Yeah. Um, she's, she's actually livelier than she used to be because the bow cabin's not finished yet. We haven't got the anchor and the chain in or the water uh, water tanks. So she's about three inches high. So she does tend to be a bit lively. Yeah, brilliant. We managed to retain all of the old bits and pieces of the boat and use it. It didn't go back where it went. It was made into something else and, and put back on. So it's virtually as it was. And your plan is to get her coded, you said? We're going to get, uh, once we've got all the, all the new safety kit on board, we'll get her coded again and we can uh, take the uncles out sailing. And next year we're going to take her around Britain, visiting yacht clubs and uh, festivals and try to relieve them of some funds to help with the rest restoration and the upkeep. When do you hope to start? Um, what, around, around Britain? Yeah. But probably as soon as the weather's reasonable. Oh. You know, we plan to try and do a little bit of sailing through the winter on nicer days to raise a bit of funding for the uh, uh, obviously we've got paper insurance which is an arm and a leg mm. and the moorings which is two arms and two legs <laughs> and it's just general upkeep yeah. And, yeah. and then will you ever take her around the world again do you think we are hoping that she's going to go around in two or three years time with the um, mm. some of the what were the youngsters on the first trip are now um, yacht masters and can skip of the boat and save us doing it all although I'd like to be able to do one of the much warmer legs perhaps so have they stayed in touch, those youngsters? Yeah, a good few of them have, yeah. So Lauren um, was down here the weekend. Um, she's been down here the following weekend as well. She's one of the yacht masters on board. And um, I'm sure once the, some of the others that haven't been in touch for a while have seen what's going on, they'll come out of the work and come back and join us as grown-up adults. Right. Well, as grown-up as you ever get. And who does Lively Lady belong to now? She belongs to Portland City Council. And um, our charity around and around have got a 25-year lease on her. And um, part of the lease agreement was that we refit, re uh, re renovate her and yeah. bring her back to um, excellent use and being good. So you have to keep her up. Yes. Uh, but then you get to use her. Yes. As a, as a charity vessel as a, for, yeah. for young people. Yeah. And that's what um, Alec Rose originally intended. That was his, intended. That's why he gave it to Portsmouth. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's fantastic to see her. I'm going to have a quick uh, look through. Can I have a look through you there? Can, yeah. That's where the big repair was. We think it was caused a lot by the wet locker. Is that this timber here? Yeah, this 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 one here is where we had a bit of softness in the frame, where it sat on top of these steel. We had to cut that one back, and then we put a new piece of timber in, and then we put oak either side, bonded on and bolted through. Mm. And to do that one, we had to take a piece of the uh, uh, planking away because of the bulkhead. So when we put the planking back, we cut these pieces of oak to the shape of a hull, epoxy them on and, and fix them through as well. So it's, you know, it's steady and sturdy. And we had about Keep six... strength in the boat. Yeah, we had about six of those to do, but these were the actually worst too. The other ones were only small and um, easy to cope with. Yeah. These, 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 
This was the worst one. Mm. But it's fine.